Welcome to Celebrity Scene News. We're here at the Mirage, and we're in a world of something that's very euphoric, but perhaps universal in the sense that one of the great drummers of our time with the Grateful Dead, Mickey Hart, is here with us. And we're going to talk about something really new and exciting that uh, will make history in Las Vegas, actually in the world. And here he is, Mickey Hart. Hey, Mickey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, you know, when I, when I heard that you were involved in this project, and I said, you know, the Grateful Dead, they're, they're certainly known for some very interesting things, and one is the sound and the drums. And so here you've created something very unique with your associates for a volcano, but basically, how did it first happen for you? How did it come about where you'd be in Vegas creating a new sound that would enhance a new volcano at the Mirage. Well, it was a great challenge. I've never birthed a volcano before. I've done many things, but this is not one of them. So in that respect, I, 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 they came to the right place because I have the instruments to do this, so I felt qualified, and Zakir Hussein and myself uh, went at it. We uh, looked at the mythos of it, the uh, cosmological impact of the fear, the danger, the apprehension, the... Uh, all the emotions of a volcano or being close to a volcano and the tectonics and all the physical nature of a volcano and listened to many volcanoes recordings and then we went at it and so we tried to recreate this kind of an experience without being too literal you know just using volcano sounds that wasn't really the uh, the art or the mission so we did it with uh, uh, many instruments chanting uh, conch shells, beating bell, madal, all these exotic instruments from all over the world uh, we threw into the stew. What did you, um, what did you learn from this experience uh, as, as, as a whole thing about, uh, shall we say, the universe encompassing what you're doing? Well, I mean, it's all about vibrations. When you're a rhythmist, uh, your world lives around the vibratory, in the vibratory world. So um, that's what a volcano is really all about. It's a, just a, vi a giant violent rumble and it just releases all this tension from the earth and just, or else we would explode without volcanoes, really. So it does serve, they serve a great purpose, even though they're very fearsome, uh, the spiritual. And that's what really interested me because I read about people who live near volcanoes and how they pray to them and how they revere them and it's a very sacred thing and um, uh, and they, they have to coexist with the volcano. And it's scary, but it's also a very powerful feeling. So it's filled with power and magic. And those were the two elements that um, were primary uh, composing uh, uh, kind of emotions that we that we kind of went to. If it was powerful and it had that sense of magic, then we were on the right track. This was a blessed kind of a, a composition because uh, it happened at the right time, in the right place uh, for us to compose. It just came out. Some things just work and some things don't. This one worked. Do you consider it a, um, an elevation, if you will, from playing with the Grateful Dead as opposed to doing something that deals with more of a, a spirituality, if you will, because of the volcano, because of the uh, people praying to the volcano and whatnot? An elevation? I wouldn't call it an elevation, but I would call it a continuum. I play with as much power and emotion as I can every night. That's what the, that's the idea. So, I mean, this is just an, uh, another work uh, in a long line of works. Um, like I said, it was a challenge. I played many concerts, but um, this... This was a special project, it certainly was, and, I, and being in Vegas, you play with the, the big toys. Here, you have, you got shooters in that lagoon that shoot 30 per second, you know, they can fire. So that allows me to really up the ante as far as rate, percussive rate, and, uh, and the shooters will follow the, the groove, and follow the percussion around the lagoon. It's, so I've never really uh, mixed mediums like that. Shooters, yeah, shoo, pound. You know, volcanoes, and that's what Mickey's talking about. As we leave on this broadcast, when things were hard during the course of your life as you were growing up, uh, what kept you on key? You know, whether it's meditation or God or what was it it's that true. kept you together? It's the rhythm, stupid. <laughs> that's what it is. It's the rhythm, stupid. And I have that right up, written on my computer every time it bumps up. You know, I go, okay. So I remember that we were born from rhythm, you know, and from uh, vibration, and that's what's that's what we're made of. We're all vibratory. And so that's what keeps me alive, playing the drums. It keeps me focused. 
We're all vibratory. Keep that in mind. In the meantime, from all of us at CSN News, keep your visions positive. Keep positive people around you. And above all, know that the guy's up there with you. I'm Pete Allman and Mickey Hart. A-way.